Hello friends and welcome to Technosage. So in this video we will talk about how we can add our ESXi servers to the newly created vCenter servers. So as you can see on my screen that I have logged into my vCenter server. There you have to go to the menu option and under the menu option go to the host and clusters. So once you are in the host and clusters you will see your own host there the vCenter host. Right click onto the vCenter host and click onto the new data center. Just give the name for your data center. I have kept it by default that is the data center and I will click on. So now you can see that the data center have been created. Just right click onto the data center and click on add host. So you are now trying to add the host. So in this addi host, host edition I will be adding my ESXi host. So if you are curious to know how you can create your own ESXi host just check the description box where I have kept the link of my video one of my video where I have specifically step by step mentioned how you can set up your own ESXi server where you can manage your own VMs. So here I'll add the IP or the host name for my ESXi server. So after adding the host just click on to next. So now here I need to give the username and password for my ESXi server so that my vCenter will be able to connect to my host, my ESXi host. I'll give the login credentials there and I will give next. So now it is giving the security alert that it is trying to connect. I need to accept the thumbprint. I'll give yes and now you can see that it fetched all the values, the vendor values, model and every detail of my ES, ESXi server and all the virtual machines that have been connected to my ESXi server. I will give next and now it is saying assign license, add an existing license or assign a new license to the host. So obviously I have selected the license key that is not the evalu evaluation one that is the real license. So if you want to see the video on how you can apply the license onto the vCenter server please check the description box where I have kept the link for the video on how you can set up the license for your vCenter server. Now select that license and click on to next. So here it is saying the lockdown mode specify whether to enable lockdown mode. By default I am selecting as disabled. Next. So here it is saying that the VM location. So VM location is my in the data center. I'll give next and it is saying that ready to complete. So now it is giving me all the details that this is my the name of the ESXi that I'm adding to the data center. The version of my ESXi license supplied networks data stores lockdown mode and VM locations. I'll give finish and once I give the finish my ESXi is now added to the vCenter server. Now I can use this vCenter to manage my ESXi's. So in this way I can add multiple ESXi and can manage through the centralized location that, that is from the centralized vCenter server. This is it from this video. I hope you like this video. Please do let us know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching guys.